Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be talking about the Longchamp repair process. The first video I ever filmed on my YouTube channel was my Woodbury Common Premium Outlets, a shopping vlog and a haul. And I purchased this tote bag. It's a crocodile print limited edition um, Neo Le Pliage tote bag. Um, I love the Le Pliage tote and I have it in a few colors. While I was at the Longchamp outlet store, the uh, sales rep told me that Longchamp will repair your bag uh, one time for free, that that's their warranty. There is a Longchamp boutique in the city near me. And finally, in February of this year, I brought my older uh, Le Pliage tote to the store and they finally repaired it and I finally got it back. So this is the Le Pliage tote that I had repaired. This is in the large size and it's in, I think the color is just called gray. This is about 12 years old now. I used it for all my trips as my carry-on in-flight bag. What gave it the most wear and tear was this is my scuba diving bag. I am a certified scuba diver and we you know when you're on the boat you need a bag that totally zips at the top and is almost kind of waterproof. So I use this on my dive trips just to carry all my stuff on the boat. So it really took a beating and I'll insert video of the wear and it was in the corners specifically of the bag. The holes in the bag were becoming kind of apparent. Um, when you look through the bag, you could see the, the light coming through in the corners. So in mid-February, I went to the Longchamp boutique and I brought this in. I, I called them ahead of time just to make sure that they could take it in. And they give you a little form. So it says Longchamp Paris at the top there. It has the repair form number. At the top, they wrote an estimate of uh, time. Reason for repair. And then there also is a price list that they showed you in store. For this um, particular repair, uh, it's free, I guess, because it's considered wear and tear. I, I'm not sure, honestly, you know, but depending on the repair, I guess they might charge you kind of like with Louis Vuitton. Then on the bottom, it has the address. So they said it would be about four to six weeks. And the timeline, I, I would say, was pretty accurate. I dropped it off mid-February and they called me in mid-March that it was completed. Now, if you are aware of current events, <laughs> mid-March was when the entire world turned upside down and everything started shutting down. So this was, they called me, I would say right before the, the total shutdown, but when people were being very cautious at that point, I, you know, everyone was kind of working from home, no one was traveling and people were avoiding large gatherings and public areas and going out only if necessary. So when they told me that it was ready for repair, I was like, you know, I'd prefer not to go into the store to pick it up in person if possible, just because of the current events. And would you be able to ship it out to me? Because I do live about an hour, it's about an hour drive from my home into the city. And, you know, I was a little, I was a little disappointed. <laughs> She said that they can mail it to me, but I, I, they would charge me $15. And I do not like to pay for shipping. If I'm shopping for something online and there's a minimum spend for free shipping, I will reach that minimum spend. I hate paying for shipping. You know, Louis Vuitton, they do repairs, um, but they'll ship it to you for free. You know, if it comes in, if you're not in the area, whatever. So I asked if they, you know, considering the circumstances, would they ship to me and they wouldn't. So I was like, okay, well, guess I'll come in you know when I come in and immediately after that then everything officially shut down like the government shut everything down and then the stores closed and so you know four months went by <laughs> four or five months I think at that point the store reopened and then it shut down again I called the customer service uh, like the 800 number and I told them you know I dropped this repair off at the this boutique at this location um, I don't know if they're open no one's answering the customer service team was great and I didn't even get a call back or an email back. I got an email notification from UPS that they were shipping it to me automatically. So they didn't charge me. They didn't, you know, give me a hard time about it. Um, so yeah, so they mailed it back, yay. It was wrapped in plastic, you know, it was folded up, wrapped in plastic, and then it had this very nice kind of a thank you card with a handwritten note on the back, um, hoping that my family is safe. So I thought that was very nice. But uh, yeah, this is what the card says. It says, you know, here's your completed repair and then an 800 number to call if uh, you have any questions. Now, generally with repairs, especially with Louis Vuitton, I recommend if you can go in, going into the store to, you know, inspect the repair 
before you pick it up and before you kind of sign off that it's okay because I've seen some you know repairs that were awful um, and almost you know messed up the bag when you go into the boutique to pick up your repair and, and to inspect it you know if it's not to your satisfaction obviously then you don't sign off on it right ideally you would want to go in but in this case you know what else they are already repairing it for free it's part of their warranty um, I thought it was fine so I'd rather avoid that drive if I could so they ship it out the language on the website is a little ambiguous so it tells you to visit the authorized retailer near you if you're not nearby you can call customer service if it's a manufacturing kind of fault they'll repair it or um, replace it with an equivalent item now the website also says if the item is too worn they won't repair it and they'll just send it back to you so obviously this is it now it looks like they basically opened the seam of the bag and just fixed it <laughs> when i dropped it off they did mention that the bag might be a little smaller because what they do like i said they open up the seam and then they kind of restitch it to um you know cover up the holes so that that's it right there so it's brand new yeah it was totally almost see-through so here's the interior and you can see it's still almost kind of dirty so i was curious to see if the size would be different like she said because they would have to kind of kind of like when you're hemming pants you know you have to take in the fabric a little bit to cover up the um the holes and the seams so i compared it to this is another new long chomp bag that i have and it's the same um, when comparing it to another Le Pliage and the large size it's pretty much exactly the same I don't think that there is any kind of overlap I mean if there is it's so well maybe there is a little bit see right there um, but it's so negligible yeah it really looks the same so it did it was not much of a difference I guess if the holes were larger and they needed to take it in a little more then it might be um, a little smaller but fortunately mine wasn't too bad so here is my brand new to me 12 year old <laughs> Le Pliage tote if you didn't know before now you know they will repair your bag for free at least if it's kind of just like a wear and tear issue in the corners Longchamp boutiques um, I don't know if they're open right now they also I think the website advised that because of COVID their repairs are maybe they're not taking in as many or they kind of held off, are holding off on it I know that Louis Vuitton right now aren't repairing items at all either they don't want to take it in and you know because of staffing whatever they're not doing it but in the future this is uh it's good to know so that was my experience with the Longchamp repair process again this was just a basic repair uh, they do have price list for other specific things, you know, maybe replacing the handles or the leather tabs, but I just kind of did like a little wear and tear repair and it was free. Let me know if you've had that done and let me know if you have any other questions and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.